Back in September, a Greensboro apartment on fire. My maintenance man woke me up, just knocking on the door, knocking on the door, is anybody in here? India Thompson inside when flames erupted. When I came outside, I seen smoke. India and the other tenants moved to other units that evening. Three days later, she got a water bill at her new apartment for $1,200. This not mine. <laughs> this not mine. Um, I'm not paying that. Um, we got to get this fixed. India calling the city. I mean, this must be a mistake, right? A $1,200 water bill. That was, no, ridiculous. That's more than my rent, car payment. The city would investigate, but no air was discovered. The leasing office contacted, but didn't do anything. So back to the city she went. The most they can do, they say they can cut the bill in half. Well, half. $600, $700 water bill, that's still too much. After two months of complaining, and with the knowledge a typical bill is about 25 bucks, and she'd only been there three days, India heard back from the city. The water people, she basically called me, was like, well, if you don't have any of the money on it, I'm going to cut the water off. Yep, they were going to cut the water. India reaching out to her dad, the water company moving forward. I came home and my water was cut off. With no other options, India sent $700 to the city. Two days later, the water back on. An expensive proposition fueling one more phone call. So then my dad, like one of his co-workers, should just I contact the news. So that's what I did. Our volunteers again reaching out to the city. I spoke with the director who assured me he would look into the issue. Well, guess what? They found it was fault on their end and then they gave me a refund back. We read the meter manually incorrect and this was a human error on our part. Turns out it was the city's mistake all along. It was like my last resort and just hoping that it would work with I never knew even the news did stuff like that. Well, we do. And in this case, we saved India about $700. Thank you. Like, you did a good job. I called you with a problem. You got fixed, handled immediately. Paying for water is one thing. Asking to pay a $1,200 bill that's not yours, well, that's like... And no one wants to do that. Now, we certainly can't help everyone all of the time, but we definitely try. If you have a consumer complaint or a problem, think our Call for Action volunteers can help. Go ahead, give them a call right now. They are standing by. If you don't have time, though, right now, you can always go to our website, go to the Two Wants to Know section, and then fill out the form you see right here.